What's going on guys, Armad here. Epic Games just dropped possibly one of the biggest updates of Fortnite Chapter 3. They made a lot of changes to weapons, buffed some, nerfed some. If you guys want to find out what happened, make sure to stay tuned for the entire video. Before we continue, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, today we got a pretty massive update. I'm not going to lie, it's probably one of the bigger updates we had this season in terms of actual gameplay, not content. Give me this SMG. It's a guy here. Oh my god, he's everything on fire. Did you have to do that, buddy? Was that necessary now? All right, yes, guys. So we got a pretty big update, and this actually changed a lot of the weapons. Finally, Epic Games is taking some action. All right, guys. So the Stinger SMG and the MK7 were both nerfed, but they weren't nerfed too significantly. All Epic Games did were change the damage values. On the screen right now are the before and the after of the damage stats. As you guys can see, the damages weren't changed too significantly, only by one value for both the MK and two values for the Stinger SMG. However, the Stinger SMG is still pretty broken, and so is the MK7. Both the guns are still pretty cracked, just like they were before. They still have the same rate of fire, so not much has changed there you can still shoot opponents through walls the smg nerf and the mk nerf weren't too powerful give me your goods mr llama there we go okay i'm gonna drop the mk because i feel like i don't need an ar like who needs an ar when you have an smg am i right smgs are still busted after all epic games slightly nerfed the mk7 and the stinger smg but only to a certain extent they're still pretty busted in my opinion if epic games wants to truly fix them they should start by changing the rate of fire because in my opinion the rate of fire is what made these weapons busted Look, I'm gonna shoot this guy through the wall. Okay, or he could not build at all. That's also okay. I'm chasing this guy down. He has Spider-Man Mythics. I want those. All right, so as you guys saw from that fight, the Stinger SMG is still pretty busted. You know, Epic Games didn't really fix it that much, but you know, it's a step in the right direction, so I'm not gonna complain. Get out of here. That was pretty much it for the nerfs this update. I mean, I guess those are the only two weapons that were broken. The striker pump shotgun is fairly balanced, and so are the other weapons. I feel like Epic Games should have probably buffed the Ranger Assault Rifle. That's one gun I would like to see buffed. But unfortunately, they didn't. But they did buff another weak weapon, which is the auto shotgun. Let me just take this NPC out. All right, give me your lovely blue striker pump shotgun. All right, guys, so as I was saying, Epic Games did buff the auto shotgun. They actually buffed the reload time of the auto shotgun, making it a little bit more reliable in fights. I'm not sure if it's still usable over a striker pump shotgun, but I guess we'll have to find out. Only time will tell. This is actually a pretty significant buff now that I think about it, because the reload time does change the entire fight. All right, guys, as I was saying, the auto shotgun might be a bit more reliable in fights now, because I remember previously, sometimes I would use the auto shotgun, and the reload time would be quite a penalty. So if you didn't hit your shots and you ran out of ammo you would be in a little bit of a situation reloading your shotgun but i think now ch things change for the better what is this a green auto shotgun let's go ahead and uh, check out the reload time for ourselves i guess Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. It feels a little bit like the tactical shotgun reload time, which isn't too bad. I feel like if Epic Games really want to uh, buff the shotguns this season, or the auto shotgun in specific, I feel like they should have buffed its damage. I feel like the auto shotgun barely does any damage. It literally tickles opponents from super close. So I don't know about that, Epic Games. Maybe should have changed the damage a bit. But anyways, you know, it's still a pretty good update. It's a step in the right direction, even though it's not too big of an update. MK7 and the Stinger SMG are still as broken as ever, so don't get your hopes up for that. We still have a disgusting spray meta. It is what it is. Epic games at least they're looking into it that's a good thing to know and also one of the epic games managers tweeted out saying that they're actually listening to the community now and they're actively working to change things that the community wants so you know that's pretty cool it's a good thing to know that fortnite actually cares about their community unlike other games but anyways guys that's pretty much it for today's update it was borderline significant meaning that you know it was a good update but it doesn't really change the way the game works because the spray meta is still there the stinger smg and the mk7 are still as broken as ever so you know not much has changed but it's a step in the right direction so for that thank you epic games you almost saved chapters Three. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and try to get this win now, guys. All right, we got a pretty solid loadout. We got the broken Stinger SMG. If I got my hands on an auto shotgun, I will try it out just for the sake of this video. It did receive a very minor buff, so if I get my hands on one, I'll definitely make sure to use it. Oh my god. There's no way I nearly died to that bot. That's kind of embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of gamers here. I gotta play it smart and uh, safe. Another guy is coming to the fight. No way. It's already like five people here. Okay, I think the smartest play here is going to be to backtrack out of this fight. I'm going to grab this lovely taxi and make my way out of here. A bit too many people here. A bit too many. 
Yo, let me see if I can grab an MK here. A sniper. Ooh, okay, that might be a little bit nice too. Oh, look at this guy trying to creep up on us. He thinks he's slick, huh? Okay, oh, I, oh my god, so many people spider manning in and everything. How did that shot not hit? It's a real question. You see what I mean, guys? SMG is so dirty. I'm sure this guy's reaction time wasn't exactly the best. Gotta reload the SMG real quick. Get out of here. Victory crown? Say less. Okay, this guy brought us the goods. Appreciate it, my guy. I appreciate it a lot. A golden MK. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're really talking. Little guy here. Get out of here. Trying to cone hide. Yeah, Epic Games need to fix this thing ASAP, bro. The damage isn't that big of a difference, honestly, when the rate of fire is still OP. No one steals my kill. Wait, did I kill both? I killed both those guys. No way. That was actual comedy. There's no way I killed both those guys. That was a nice clean up. I'm not going to lie. We got so many mats now. Wow. Oh, I hit him. The bush. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have exactly one health. One SMG shot, one AR shot, one anything and I'm dead. Yep, there we go guys. SMG shot me through the wall. So as you guys can see from that example right there, the Stinger SMG is still pretty busted. In my opinion, if Epic wants to really fix that, they have to nerf the rate of fire. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.